Last time on Fight Night Champions. Yeah! Oh. 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. Thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. I'm alive, I can't complain no more. The sun, I, baby, I don't see the rain no more. The water Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out.
I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. <laughs> no way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to- I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head. Motherfucker, this shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight, he ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go.
I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax. Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. See me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Good evening, everybody. Joe 
Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Don't let him get to you. Effective work with that flush overhand. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. Chavez is going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Good doubling up with the jab by Andre Bishop. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Teddy, I don't think he's got vision nice. to sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it in. That's a big right hand. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Chavez is showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. That's an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. Always finish with the hook, one, Ray. One, one, two, three. Okay? One, one, two, three. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last one. And I'm sure on that fateful night with... He was just bulldozed right there. One punch knockout power ends this fight. It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done. Over. Fiend. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza. I'm alongside Teddy Atlas here ringside for heavyweight action tonight. The American Andre Bishop taking on the veteran Mexican Raul Castillo. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed, where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy is going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand. Just a little flinch of the right hand. Throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. The 
other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. What a demolishing hook by Andre Bishop. Up top with a quick hook. Flush right hand to the head. Bishop's tagged by a hook. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And now he scores well with a straight right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. That's how I like it. Nice work that round, Andre. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now hugging on the inside. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Oh! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Castillo's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Now committing to that jab. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the heavyweight version of Andre Bishop is just as powerful as the middleweight version we used to know. A knockout victory now. He earns it over Raul Castillo. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. Well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Come on, kid. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. And now another left. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Bishop's got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful 
he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. When you're the smaller man, sometimes you need to be the smarter man. And that's the case with Andre Bishop landing that jab. He's focused on the inside. That's a solid right hand by Johnson. A stinging uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Hit the box. Get in there. And a flush hook lands by Andre Bishop. Johnson's right hand scores well that time. Targeting that hook upstairs by Andre Bishop. He comes back with the left hand again. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Now there's the jab. That's where you want to be. Fires off the hook. Look at that. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Got to get close. Got to move forward and get closer to this guy. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Get out of the way from those punches. He returns the favor with an uppercut. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Here's the bad news for Andre Bishop. He is not able to land that left hand, and that's all he has. Andre Bishop's cut is really a mess right now, and it could jeopardize this fight for him right here. Teddy, is there blame that needs to be placed on his cut man? Could he have done more? Well, really, the trick to being a cut man is pretty simple. It's not rocket science. You have to have nice the right work. medicines, the right coagulants. You have to be calm. You have to be able to put pressure on that cut, get it to stop, and then put those medicines in. But you need a little help from your fighter. You need him to move a little bit on his bike and give those medicines time to work. He scores with the jab. Johnson's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's gonna stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Little head hunting with the left. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Stay A well-targeted hook landed by Andre Bishop. And round three comes to an end. You gotta work. Work with your range, okay? You're in control, Andre. You're in control. Better, much better. You don't need to keep that away. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Andre Bishop's doing exactly what we expected him to do. He laid out the game plan. I want to win it on the outside. The jab's been there all night. Yeah, well, that's where it starts if you want to win it on the outside. You know, you're not going to do it with your feet. This is not kickboxing. You know, you're going to do it with your jab. And that's exactly, it's boxing 101. Control range, control distance, control the jab. There he is on the inside, doing well. A well-placed left hand up top. Finish with the hook. Use your feet. See him timing that double jab to the head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Piercing jab. 
Solid left hand to the head. A battering hook by Andre Bishop. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Work the body. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. Well, this is what pro fighters have to do. Find a way to fight through the pain. But if I'm Gus Carisi in that corner of Andre Bishop, I tell him to abandon the right hand and go out there and win it with your left. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That cut that opened up earlier, it is progressively becoming worse. Trainer Gus Carissi is just trying to give his fighter a chance at this point. Yeah, they haven't stopped the bleeding. Now, you could be critical of the cut, man, that it's still flowing from that cut. But certain guys bleed more than others. They just do. And Bishop is one of those guys. And here's a little insight we're getting from our ringside researcher. He says that Andre Bishop actually had a previous injury to that damaged right hand. And get this, Teddy, it happened during his prison term. Super two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. Head and body, head and body. There's another left hand from him. A little double jab to the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. Halfway into round number five here. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Andre Bishop. Johnson's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident hands that up, hands with those earmuffs up. on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. You know, I didn't think we'd be saying this about him, but Teddy, right now, stamina is a real question mark for Bishop. Yeah, and it's hard to understand how it would be because he's always been in shape before. You look at his body, it's not always an indicator, but it looks like he's in shape. You have to wonder if he assumed something and was a little overconfident in this fight. The combo lands upstairs. Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, Laney. Meldrick Johnson's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Teddy, you think this is the moment where Gus Carisi gives him the green light and says, hey, you got him right where he wanted him. I mean, Bishop got to his opponent there. Not an experienced guy like Gus. He'll tell him, stay after him. You got him a little bit hurt. Keep pushing him downhill a little bit. But he'll tell him, do it the right way. Don't get careless. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. A flush hook scores well for him. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Meldrick Johnson. Landing two jabs by Meldrick Johnson's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. See, the defense pays off as he... And bang, and away he goes. Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. Punch! One, two, three! Rising back up, that takes some guts. And there's the left hand working well for him again.
watch this kind of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in the corner right now telling him, go out there and close the show. Good job with another left hand. Bishop's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. To the head he goes with a left hand. Good, good. Keep doing what you're doing. Double jab upstairs. Every time Andre Bishop throws that right hand, he winces. He is in serious pain. And now another left. Back to the body. Johnson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Just a dominating evening by Andre Bishop tonight. He is clearly up big on the scorecards. Trainer Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can go two ways with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. He comes back with the left hand again. Bishop's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. There's another left hand from him. Returning fire, well done by Meldrick Johnson. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted posts. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? Is this your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge 
not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Bishop's coming down to the ring now, and what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. And the answer to the question everybody wants to know may come here in round number one. How healthy is Andre Bishop's right hand against Reggie Stewart? Up top with the right hand. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Andre Bishop's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Good block by Andre Bishop. In, out, in, nice out. strike after catching one by Reggie Stewart. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Halfway through round number one. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop, and another, that's a good sign. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Now he's targeting upstairs. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Back upstairs he goes. Relax. Relax. That's exactly what I want to say. Let's keep that up. I am the right for now. Let's show everyone that you still got that power right Here we go. Round two is underway. Andre Bishop's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Reggie Stewart. There's no need to be on the inside. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. See Andre Bishop. That Stewart's hurt by a big shot. Big shot. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. Now that's impressive. All week long, everybody was talking about the injury to the right hand of Andre Bishop. He just knocked out Reggie Stewart with that right hand.
Isaac, which bishop brother hits harder? Which bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, I and mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender.